Today in another sexy episode of Parrot to Shop video editing, we will learn how to do the X-Files captions. Also, to shot will show us how he had blood dripping from behind sunglasses. You PC bitch, I ah, my penis is so hard now. I will eat chowming tonight, baby. X-Files captions. We're gonna help you do some, um some of the editing that I do, some of the captions. We use the actual X-Files font. So this place here, 404, page not found. Son of a bitch, this is how I do my X-Files shit. Okay, so I found it yeah. again. Okay, so that's caps lock, ready? So, there we go. And text color's gotta be white. Perfect. Okay, so, okay. So basically you're going to speed it up. I want it to be the same speed as X-Files. I got it like right to the frame. Let's do an example. So these are things I wrote here. The doctor's ha office featuring happy balloons. That's kind of stupid. Okay, so I put in a bunch of these blockers. I put black boxes across all the white areas. And what I did here is I, I took video pieces, like individual frames. The doctor. So that way I could keep the letters coming up every frame or two. I mean, it doesn't have to be exact, right? As long as I just want it to be the same speed as the X-Files. Sometimes a caption will come up telling you the time of day or night, usually night, that it is. And I don't even think it's really that necessary sometimes. Oh, it's you. Yeah, I just hit a space. Okay, so let's just say we want um, the, the truth is out there so you understand the X-Files. Okay. Uh, You need to screen record the whatever you type and get it into editing. I use PowerDirector, but it's all relative. Next, you can speed the clip up. If you're using 30 frames per second in editing, X-Files captions are always one frame short of three seconds with a fade out over the last 10 frames. Now you can see here these black files underneath. I use those to cover the white to avoid having to crop the video which will result in loss of resolution. Using this Elon Musk example, we chroma key it so it can be placed over your screen. You can also add brightness or exposure if you like. For the final touch, I had telemetry typing sounds from the hunt for Red October. Good evening. Afternoon. Okay, I just open up the window just to get a little fresh air and it gets pretty hot. They got the heat running and stuff. Okay, we're on here. Okay, let's get back. You want to step outside? Huh? I'm not Fighting outside again. Some mean New Yorkers just moved in. Hey, be quiet! Some people are trying to sleep! Man. Glad that's over with. Now you've seen how to do the X-Files font. Now we're gonna go to Plastic, the recent music video where I used a mannequin to portray an evil artificial intelligent robot, female at that. Okay, so we're going with the glasses, the bloody glasses. I simply don't care. I'm, I'm plastic. Do it. Okay, right here, this is what it looks like before the green screen, the final part. So the blood drip, uh, there's multiple blood drips. They all got off the internet. I've just moved them into the right position so it lines up with the glasses. You can figure all that stuff out. But what we needed to do was, I green, now green screen your object, for example, the doll, I, I have a shower curtain here which couldn't do the whole uh, the whole background so I had to add in blockers so I just took like screenshots of the, the shower curtain right there's one on the top one on the left you get the idea and then we produced this video this is the uh, the glasses this is a pre-production so what we did was before we even got the blockers in we'll use the designer the pip designer for the green screen the green screen if we take the chroma key off see the glasses 
See, I've gone and colored them green. I'll turn the chroma key back on. You can see the blood, which is behind them. The blood goes in front, and in the very background is the sky background. That's why we put this at the top. We produce this as one video. See, we've already produced this as a video with the doll and the glasses. Now we chroma key out the green screen, as we say. The blood now shows up, which is behind. Once this is produced into a video, it will be brought into the, what I call the mainframe, the big cheese, the head honcho, where everything happens, the full video. I'm okay, now this is different than most um, of these kind of things. There's no background here. Essentially, all I did was I took that production, that's what I call a pre-production. We took all those clips together as we decided, we produced them into one clip. Then you move that, and then you once again green screen the green. Now this, in this area, we could have had all kinds of backgrounds, but I said, why not just fucking pure black? Just darkness, just black. And I also use this thing called threshold. This changed the look of the doll too, and created a darker, more evil image. It's not just darker, it's, it's got a certain texture to it. It's got, a, it's got a certain texture to it. You know, I don't, I don't want to say like, when I'm smoking my cigarettes outside with uh, Van Houten, do it. Do it. Okay, we'll talk about other edits uh, later. That's too much. You've learned a lot. Subscribe to my channel because if you don't, nothing bad will happen to anyone but me. So don't hurt me. Love you. Editing video. We're going to work on some editing video. We're going to slow things down a little because the last one, I showed you a lot of effects and even how to do a lot of effects. But you may not have learned lots for two reasons. One, sometimes I move a little fast and jittery. I've got to slow down a little. And two, not many people even saw the video to give it a chance, so there is no chance that anyone could have learned anything from it. I watched this one video, How to Edit Like a Pro, which I basically copied the name of, because I've seen other people saying use names and certain kinds of topics and thumbnails so you can get in with them on the search list. That doesn't work. It only works if you have a whole bunch of friends and money to help you get to that spot. If you don't, you won't. Obsessive compulsive disorder is an anxiety disorder characterized by uncontrollable. I guess I could have showed it on the actual finished video, it wouldn't have lagged. Okay, here it is right here. X-Files font. This could have been one pre-production. I don't know why this is like this. It should be it should have been one pre-production and then this is the worst example. Why did I go to this one? It's like some weird fruit fly flying around here. There's so many edits, like the doll walk is probably the most sought after edit. A lot of people want to know how I pulled that off without using CGI, because I don't know anything about, you know, crunchy gremlin immigrants. <laughs> you crunchy gremlin immigrant. I'm sorry that the two shot factor hasn't been running regular lately. That's because we've had a lot of problems in the newsroom. There's, there's a, a marmot in there. I couldn't record some of the last things because I lost battery and then I charged it a bit 11% and now the card was full people can't understand how hard this is doing all these things nobody you know people who know you most a lot of them just get sick of watching this like it's some show-off attempt it doesn't matter what what kind of camera you get how good it actually looks most people want to write you off they do and it will never work out for most people it just won't